got those eyes, right. those eyes that'll see right through you when she leaves the night. I want to leave with her too, and she's on my mind like all, all the time when we touch. I get weak, and I can hardly speak, and I hope that she thinks about me, cause I'm always thinking of her. So with my confidence at an all-time high, I finally said, hey, gentle eye, you're doing something to me. Not sure what it is, but from the moment I felt your soft touch, I could have sworn silk had matriculated down every inch of your skin. Your hugs or what influenced visions of being wrapped in Egyptian linen, you're softer than some of breeze or a cotton field, girl. Just listen. If you promise to be my woman, I will be your watchmaker. Put in the time and effort. Just be mine so that my faithfulness and happiness can two-step through cloud nine on dance floors of everything you don't know. Like my heart, it doesn't get going till you wake up in the morning. You're becoming my lifeline. The reason my heart beats, and while I suffer from heart disease, I'm sure the cause is your inability to claim me. Come save me. Step outside of what you think is perfect to see what perfect could be. Give me your heart. I show a thing that's never seen and give it back to you to think who else if not me. I am more than capable of loving you, believe me. Make you want to do it all, believe me. I tweet things hoping you retweet me. Feel like if Jesus had a daughter, you'd be the cute girl at her school she was jealous of. See, so you have an angel type essence. As if God forgot to humanize your image before sending you from heaven, I need you. Like that last bit of water to finally see those fires on 9 11. Cupid's arrows plays like planes into my heart, twin towers of protection. I'm falling for the thought of you. Dreams of coating every follicle with these oils in my hands as I run my fingertips from the root to every curl's end to this world ends. Now you just imagine everything you imagine happening with intensified passion, whether it be ice cream, days spent on apple green grass, a phone call to that phone dies. You are this love interest poem personified. Gentle eyes, when I first see you, I wrote a love letter in my head, and in it I was like, you're a bunch of you. Wrapped in perfection and tension, tied with the bow of whatever else attracts me to you. My only wish is to unwrap this gift. I listen to that look in your eyes and I can hear the what if. Not one to question the man that you're with, but wondering if I'm serious and I am. Gentilized, I love that smile. It sits wider than rubber bands fanned across oceanic bodies of liquid desire. I say I wish I was a person in sip beside her. So you could imagine what I feel when her and a man share a kiss. It's a painful thing to see another man's woman on your heart's wish list. But since I cannot change nor fix this, I will continue to write these love letters in my head. Hoping someday you write one in response to this. That loving her is a game I'll always lose. Cause I got those brown eyes, blue. So, what happens when a phoenix loses his fight? What does a hopeless dreamer do when they lose their desire? When that dancer's feet can't keep up with his heartbeat when an artist is being enslaved by the next master's feet? What does a singer do when their soul is off key? This is for 25 hour days. This is for those eight day weeks when time don't fly, it moves slow. When it's hard to get by. When your practice don't add up to the outcome. When the time you put in don't coincide with your income when a writer's just tired. We are living in days when we are easily angered but slowly inspired. So when passion flame flickers, I just ask you to remember. You just try and remember why it is you do the things you do, the reason you make your sacrifice. Because I know on my darkest night, I write to reignite. I can fit it from a fitted and also speaking a new era into existence now. Snap back into the alternate dimension I live in where I alternate between a poet and a human being. I'm so tired of being only things you see. I'm so tired of doing what you expect and I do the unexpected even though I know I regret it. At least let me regret it later. This is simply the product of feeling hitting paper. No debit or credit to it. I write this life a Nike check and I just do it. So let's get into it. 
how I uplift me when I need uplifting. I write these lines when I'm out of alignment, and I wish I could say that every line I say was meant, but sometimes I admit. I write how it should be rather than how it is, hoping to speak a new me into being. I write confidence in myself, then find myself asking myself, am I by myself? I often wonder. Is the rest of the world as messed up as me? I wonder. Are we all just unfinished puzzles pretending we found the missing pieces? I wonder. Are we all just a bunch of broken glass and beautiful garbage bags? I wonder. Are we pointing fingers at each other to divert attention from ourselves? I think we might be afraid of ourselves. So you go ahead. Ask me how I'm doing. Just chilling. How about you? That really means I got a bag full of problems in my back pocket, but I bet you do too. Mommy and daddy issues, career, and passion conflicts. I've been in some relationship wrecks. But I bet you have too. I just step up here and get a little bit of it out of me. I smoke quotes from my own notebook in hopes of being a higher me. Not perfect by a long shot, made my mistakes and paid the fee, but hopefully my father has forgiven me for days. I contemplated death for no reason. I already have regrets about decisions I haven't made yet for days. I took all my insecurities and shoved them in her and called it meaningless sex for days. I lied. Because the truth was something I didn't think you had the time or attention span to hear, but I'm still here. Remembering that hollow me, aspiring to reclaim that same fire that inspired me. So forget that hate, forget that gossiping. I love myself without apology. They call me birds, undoubtedly. But with these words of Phoenix, I gotta be. So if you never knew, now you know. A while ago, I lost control. That emptiness helped make me whole. All flowers have weathered that stone before. Because that hurt and that pain, it helped shape me, though. Because when you that deep in dirt, you can't help but to grow. I found me, though. So you tell the dream. Forget your situation, you take back your inspiration and you walk like you never lost it. Forget exhaustion, I don't care. You have to snatch your dreams out of the throat of a nightmare. You tell the singer, you better sing. When you sing, you sing like your next note so powerful it can make a demon flatline. You tell the dancer to dance, you move like your heart beats the bass line and for my writer. When writer's block got you boxed in, you punch line and box back. And if you are none of that, if you are none of the above, you just remember what you love, why you do the things you do. Forget the bullshit, your passion's like Red Bull, your wings take flight. Use these words like gasoline, our hearts to spark. Let's reignite. I am no one's angel. If I am, my wings are not brilliant white. I've got things there that can't be shouted out, they've become part of the decor. Who's ever seen an angel with wings made of broken glass that you say that I am a mosaic? And you love to see the shapes I refract when you stretch out my wings come morning time. Your goal is to make me reach heaven, no matter how far I've fallen. And you want me to take your name with me when I fly, so you imprint them on my lips. Tattoo them to my taste buds so I can taste one whole other way, and I don't mind this either if it were possible. I would tattoo your bedroom face behind one eyelid and your public face behind the other, just to see the difference I inspire in you, you. I always say no one has made you come like that, and with us, raw means no emotional barrier, so you're the only one who's ever been inside my soul. So let me help you with your questions. I have answers in the world with my fingerprints, and when I run my fingertips over your skin, it's just me trying to help a brother out, trying to help you solve your problem. And the trick is to not solve for X, but to begin a whole new equation. So, I promise this is not love. At least not the way you did describe it. We have too much substance to be that see-through, so we never say the word, but trace forever on each other's skin with our tongues, and each other's, oh God, don't stop, is a prayer for forever. So I arch my back to get my skin a little closer to yours, to see if our body heat can't make us melt. Put my hands on your shoulders to say, this is too much, but you are determined to see me fly. See light refracted from my mosaic wings and I'll wash you with light. We do not hide this in the nighttime. We don't start this shit till sunrise, so we begin each day as one. Contorting our pseudo-angelic bodies into the mortal angles, and I promise I am no angel. But for you, I'll unfurl my wings and let you see the parts that are breakable. But please, don't waste both of our time being gentle. Hate me as a poet. <laughs> because you can't relate to my poetry because I only write poems for women. But if you ask me, I've never written poems for women, only poems about women. If I had to write a poem for women, it would sound completely different. It would probably start with the word beautiful. Since I know you don't hear it sincerely often, I'd say something like, nobody's perfect but you. Because you were made in God's image and I refuse to believe he makes mistakes. So no matter what the world wants to make you think, I just need you to know that regardless of shape, size, or color like Tetris blocks, you were created to fit somewhat perfectly the way you are. If I had to write poems for women, I'd say something like, men, 
don't deserve you. Or niggas ain't shit. <laughs> so they know we get the point and they can stop repeating this. I'd write in metaphors of sunflowers just to brighten your day. I'd create images of chivalry, opening up doors to say preciously manicured fingers. I'd remix the alphabet and start with the letter Y. Followed by I L O V E U and take the letter C M S completely out and replace every last period with a happy face, even if it means my hands start crimping. If I had to write poem for women, I'd say I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything that men like me who didn't know your words push you through. For when I cut, grew deep enough for you to grow insecurities, for every unanswered question you still have. For every time we ever did anything less to make you smile, for anything and any time we ever treated you like you were less than a queen. But I'm happy. I'm happy that there are still women around who haven't allowed us to shift their ambition or kill mm. the purpose that put on high heels and walk over obstacles. I swear you are goddesses and we are immortals. If I could praise you with a poem for women, the last word would be beautiful. Since I know you don't hear it sincerely often, and I would hate for you to forget what it sounds like. <sighs> I need, I need, I need, I need. I need a plus size princess. I need a super slim. Princess. I need a big bone beauty. Size one booty. I need, I need, I need, I need. I need, I need a chick to finish her whole plate when we go on a date. Dude like me ain't afraid of a little puzz because real dudes know that's just more to love. Now my savings are a bit wiser. I need a girl who can't finish her appetizer. Only thing fix you is steak on my plate. You big girls, get left alone. Can't take you home if you ain't skinny bones. I don't know what he be on, but it's going to be December. And all them skinny chicks going to try to get winter fresh, but we all know ain't nothing hot as that big red, right? Ain't nothing cute as that juicy fruit. I don't need no skinny single shit. I need a double mint thick chick. <laughs> Fuck. That <laughs> Once winter falls, spring calls, and a big girl in a two-piece ain't called for. I need a small size, slimming in a drumstick. I order mine without the roll on the side. You lost your damn mind. Now picture this. Which would you rather be with? Paris Hilton, on a diet, at the clinic, or five hours of sleep, under Monique, no AC. <laughs> We can all see she a big sexy freak. I'm picking Paris Hilton instead. Give me some of that sex tape here. Ain't gotta go to no gym to lift, no swim gym. I leave that to those guys. I like mine, fun size. See, you can supersize mine. I need mine a lot bigger than one of them little stick figures. I need something to hold on to when we get home. So, girl, put some meat on them bones. Fuck that. <laughs> I need my titty so flat. I suck her nipples from the back. <laughs> that, I can't get with them. I need titty so big I can lose shit in them. Ew. <laughs> I need my booty meat so petite. One hand, palm, both cheeks. <laughs> That's just wrong. I need an ass so big it make any pair of drawers a thong. <laughs> <laughs> if you never gave a damn about fitness size too, just know my boy Bird is looking for you. If your watch size and your waist size is one and the same, go ahead and get it, my boy Mike McCain. As men, we like it all. Big, small, and all in between. I don't know what they want, but this is what I need.